The yeast mm. is the bed for disease. But again, since we have not had scientists, researchers, as they are called, to come forth with the proper research or study, we fall short. We're vulnerable. We are vulnerable. I mean, I just came to New York 10 years ago, and they were drinking carrot juice. Carrot juice? Well, that tells me something. And they're eating beans in the name of health. That tells me that something is wrong. So therefore, we have to stop it. The brother that came from D.C., there was a war on AIDS, and I was taken to, to uh, Manhattan. War on AIDS! Well, I had the bomb. I went. Dr. Barbara Judson and Dr. Prince disregarded me. And then they said, then they said, Dr. Aline is coming from Washington. I said, the Muslim brother, they said, yes. I said, he's coming with a very special message. I said, yes. Where is he coming to tell us? That AIDS kill black people. <laughs> I said, we needed to hear that from Dr. Aline. Because we were totally oblivious to that fact. <laughs> but the question I'm going to ask about Dr. Aline, is he a Muslim? They said, yes. Well, what does a Muslim that follows Allah doing, practicing? the medicine of the bliss that they call the devil there is a contradiction well well allow yeah I have to say what can we do as uh, folks here in this country who are concerned that have some semblance of consciousness what can we do here to help you get the message across to the people who need to know to the people who need this kind of information and cure what can we do here to help you yeah. to uh, you know to expound uh, the greatness of medicine that you're giving to us when the Japanese scientist said that he worked with the immune system all of Japan got behind him he didn't ask them they got behind him and he got the Nobel Peace Prize for only working with the immune system we don't work with the immune system we cleanse the immune system when the Jews in Israel needed help they didn't come asking help us. They sent the help. So you ask me, what could I say to the black race of America that would help the Usha research? I don't know. If they help me, fine. If they don't help me, still fine. I don't know. That's on you. That's on the black populace. That's not on us. We did our job. Uh, anybody got another question? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to ask Dr. Sebi um, about cancer. Explain how cancer um, gets started in the body. The same way a common cold started. In any part of the body, any way cancer appears, it means that there is a condition that has manifested over and above because it has been progressively getting worse unattended or unknowing. There's no difference with cancer and a common cold. The mucus in the nose stayed a long time. They call it sinusitis. And after they begin to eat the cells, they call it cancer. And that's where in the reproductive organ, in the breast, in the head, in the brain, in the eye, wherever. It's all mucus. Oh, you've heard of Dr. Tory. Dr. Tory from Chicago. Uh, well, he teaches about uh, the worms in the body how they got there, what cysts is made of, because he says that the worms have to doodle in your body, and that's where you get these cysts and things like that. You heard of that? I disagree with that. A cyst, when you open a cyst, inside of the cyst, all you find is calcium carbonate. That's all you find. Also but I can't, I, I, I can't challenge anyone or anything, but I do know this, that Dr. Torrey has compounds that I know came from the Caucasian books. So in other words, Donald Torrey, from Los Angeles, California. Yes. That's who groomed him. Right. The white boys groomed him. So in other words, you're saying that that's a protection. What's a protection? With, with the cyst, because you said it's got carbon in it. No, calcium carbonate hardened. The mucus has hardened, and now it is growing. The doodle in your body, and that's where you get these cysts and things like that. You heard it? I disagree with that. A cyst, when you open a cyst, inside of the cyst, all you find is calcium carbonate. That's all you find. 
Oh, but I can't, I, I, I can't challenge anyone or anything. But I do know this, that Dr. Tory has compound that I know came from the Caucasian books. So in other words... Donald Tory. From Los Angeles, California. Yes. That's who groomed him. Right. The white boys groomed him. So in other words, you're saying that that's a protection. What's a protection? When, when the cyst, because you said it's got carbon in it. No, calcium carbonate hardened. The mucus has hardened, and now it is growing, uh -huh. and then it's gonna burst uh -huh. and eat you up. So your tonics do what? My tonics, what? what, what our tonics, the Usha tonics, the electric food. To that, to this. What, we reduce it. Didn't you see at Usha Research I when did. the lady passed the tumor? I, I did. And it was in the refrigerator? I was there. Thank you very much. She brought it in. She brought it in a bottle. What? And we put it in the freezer at tumor. This size. Ooh, I saw it. How'd they come out? It passed out of her. That's the only way it's supposed to come out. Yeah. Well, well. So yeah, if you step, you're right. Our bodies don't have zippers, so any cleansing is supposed to come out with a regular hole, the nose, the mouth, the like Taurus Henderson. Taurus Henderson, Chicago, Illinois, 1990. She had a tumor in her brain, and this is recorded on Channel 21 on Channel 19 in Chicago by Brother Rashid. She passed a tumor through her nose, mm -hmm. from her brain. Not only her. This 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 uh, Caucasian male from uh, her daughter his daughter named Robin Bennett called me and said my father have a tumor in his brain a blood clot on his brain I said yes how long would it take you to take it off I said how long would it you allow me so I gave you a month I said what about twenty four hours she said you're crazy I said of course but it came off in twenty four hours and she wrote me a letter and I have that letter how does love more than black people come to you and right now in terms of Honduras who are the folks who are coming to you? Mexicans Norwegians South African whites I don't expect any black from South Africa to come South African whites Chileans Colombians American Latin Americans American not black America black America uh, down there now is our most beloved Professor George Simmons, and we have this brother from DC named But the general population of Osha are Latinos and Europeans. Um, I would like to come down to your country and do research, or uh, because we're called African Information Communications and uh, we, anything that concerns our people, no matter what it is. We, and health should be very important. So I'd like to come down and, and see you in your environment, so to speak. Who? Gladys Rodriguez did. Who? Gladys Rodriguez. Okay. Gladys Rodriguez, the Latin American from Santo Domingo. Okay. This woman saw me on Univision, which is the Latin American International Network. You know something the Latinos put in the international network? Mm -hmm. Gladys saw it, and the very next day she went down to Honduras. In fact, she, she had the counsel from Honduras in trouble, had him fired, because she, he was giving her a hard time. She went down to Honduras, got her compound, came back, and saw what she was about. She, she was in the village, no question asked. Mm -hmm. That's Latino. But an American black person have a problem going to Honduras. Well, I don't have a problem. No, what most do. I mean, that's why I'm asking you. Yeah, it comes they ask about... Yeah. Is it possible? What's going to happen? Where am I going? I'll hold it now. But they, can run, they can run to Kentucky Fried, White Castle. <laughs> sure, but Powell that's not Theater, our fault. Powell Theater and everywhere else. But South, Ameri South African go all the way from Africa and Norwegians from Oslo. Nina went down there with her tumors and her tumor was passed. And she, not, not only that, when she got back to Norway, the doctor said, the doctor in Honduras did remove your tumors, but there's something else that he removed. Your infantile diabetic condition is gone too. You didn't know that? Well, I didn't tell him I had diabetes. That is also cured. <laughs>